www.patricklife.com. I'm going to show you how to make your very own high quality lock picking tools by taking advantage of materials and tools you probably already have around the house. Here's what you'll need. A bench grinder or Dremel tool. I picked up this bench grinder for $20 at a local hardware store, so it might be worth looking into one if you think you'll be making a lot of tools. Hacksaw blades. Get the cheapest kind. They should be no more than a couple dollars for a pack. You'll be breaking or cutting these into pieces that you'll then use to shape your picking tools from. You also need a clothes iron and a safe surface for ironing. Make sure the iron steam setting is off. Some 100 to 150 grit sandpaper will help us to prepare the surface of the metal before we begin. It will also give the picking tool a nice finish once the grinding is done. A cup of water will also come in handy. And last but not least, don't forget your safety glasses. After cutting or breaking the blade down to size, you're going to want to start by sanding the paint off the blade on at least one side. Next, print some lockpick templates. These are widely available on the internet and are very easy to find. You're going to want to print these out on a laser printer. You can use regular or glossy paper, though glossy is preferable. Cut out the pick design that you want to make. If you're using regular paper, dip it in some water and stick it face down onto the hacksaw blade. If you use glossy paper, there's no need to wet the paper. Just hold it in place as best you can. Make sure your iron is good and hot and force heavy downward pressure for about 10 seconds. Let everything cool, then slowly peel back the paper from the metal. If it doesn't come off easily, you can dip the whole thing in water and rub off the paper. The toner from the laser printing will have baked onto the metal, leaving a near perfect image of the pick design. Now you simply need to use the bench grinder to grind away around the edges of the design image. I use the coarse grinding wheel to take off most of the excess and use the finer wheel for finishing up the more delicate patterns on the pick head. After you finish with that, it's all downhill from there. Finish off the tool with a bit more light sanding and you're done. You now have a professional quality lock picking tools. But you're actually not finished quite yet. You still need to make a tension wrench. This is an L-shaped tool that duplicates the turning function of a key. Lucky for us, a good tension wrench is a breeze to make. And here's how you do it. Find an old windshield wiper blade and remove the long flexible metal strip that runs along the inside. After cutting it down to about 4 inches long, use a pair of pliers to bend the end over into an L shape. Lastly, with the help of another pair of pliers, give a half twist on the arm of the wrench. This last step is optional, but it will give a springy, flexible quality to the tension wrench. And now, with both pick and tension wrench completed, you should be ready to begin. Have fun, and please, pick responsibly. TrickLife.com